Hey everybody, <clears throat> Professor Darton is here, and as you can see on your screen, I'm doing a Pokemon starter tier list. Now, I'm about to tell you right now, this entire tier list is just 100% my opinion, and I will stand by it. Um, you can just flame me in the comments if your starter is somewhere in F tier, because literally, I'm about to just say it right now, it's my tier list, I can do whatever I want. Alright? Alright. Let's start this off with the first slot. Um, Grokey. Grokey. Not really my favorite, but he has some kind of potential. He's a, He just got released. All we know is just his typing, which is grass, and his lo logo, and his design, which is literally a monkey, so we don't really know much. But, has potential. I'll probably put him... Probably put him D tier. Sword Bunny. Yep. That's the thing. F tier. Sobble. Um S tier because uh yeah, I just I really love Sobble. Actually no. Screw actually no 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 A tier because we don't know Sobble's final evolution. Once we know Sobble's final evolution, then he's gonna jump to start to A tier. And plus Sobble just looks adorable. Plus in the trailer when he went invisible too. Really cool. He probably might be a ghost type. Water ghost? I can see that. Uh, sound, sounds like a good typing. Sounds like it. It's kind of eh. Typing water, water ghost. It sounds cool. At the same, same time, it's kind of eh. So I'm like, knock off. That's gonna hurt a lot. Knock off, dark pulls, and all that. It's gonna hurt. But, yeah, it's all related to Tepig. Uh, Tepig is a, Tepig is a weird one. Cause like, I like Embor. I know a lot of people hate Tepig in the te Tepig line. Everybody, a lot of people just hate Gym 5 stars in general. But like, Tepig, I don't really like, okay, here's, I don't like, I don't really like Tepig. I just like Embor. So for that, oop, wrong Pokemon. So for that, I'm gonna give him a C tier. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. For being Gen 1, thing is, I never played Gen 1, to be honest. That's gonna blow everybody's minds, but I've never played Gen 1. I first started in Gen 6. That's when I actually got, like, when I started at Pokemon, Gen 6, that was my game, because Mega Evolutions looked cool. The legendary Pokemon, Eveltal, looked cool, which I used to call him White Vettel, but let's not, let's not worry about that. Let's just get on Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur looks cute. Obviously, it looks good. Venusaur looks cool. Mega Venusaur looks cool. I'ma say A tier. Cyndaquil. Never played Gen 2. Like, never. I tried playing it. I cannot play it at all. I don't know why. It just felt boring to me. So, D tier. Squirtle. Squirtle. Since never playing never playing Gen 1, but I've used Squirtle before. War Turtles, War Turtles, alright. Blastoise is epic. His mecha is dope. I've used his mecha plenty of times in, in games and competitively. He's... Mega Blastoise is alright competitively. Not the best thing because his speed is slow. I mean, he's a giant walking turtle with cannons. He's not going to be the speediest thing on the freaking list. So, Squirtle. Um, I'm going to go B tier. Piplup. Again, never played Gen 4. I'm ne but I never chose Piplup, so... Eh, Piplup was kind of ant to me. So I can't really give it... I can't really give him a, a spot on the list, because I, I just don't know. I just don't really know. D tier. Froakie. Oh, you guys already know. <laughs> That's a definite S tier right there. Oh my god. That is li literally Gen 6. From starting Gen 6, the first Pokemon I ever started with was actually Froakie. And it was the right choice. Because he looked freaking cool. Protein, Protein Greninja anyone? Ask Greninja anyone? Competitive scene? You got it right there, dog. 
This thing is fast. This thing kills. This thing, this thing is an OU, Astro Ninja, and his regular self. This thing is broken, dog. It's broken. All right, let's move on to the next one. Mudkip. Mudkip. Anybody like Mudkips? I sure do. Um, who is it? Mudkip. Who else is next? Um, middle stage, middle stage, middle stage, middle stage. Who the heck? What was this middle stage? I'm making this entire starter list, and I can't remember the friggin' second form of Mudkip. It's been a while since I've used Mudkip. I only know Mudkip, Swampert, Marsh Stomp. There we go. Marsh Stomp looks derpy, but I still liked it. And Swampert looks cool, because he's the big, he big boy, big bulky. Plus, it Mega Evolution. Holy crap, I think it's cool. Holy crap. I'm gonna put him in. I'm gonna put Mudkip A tier. Totodile. Totodile's kinda eh to me. It's kinda eh. Like, I've never really used Totodile, so... But, I use Feraligator, but I never use Totodile. I've only used Feraligator competitively, like, a few times, but not all the time. He can fight. He can do his own. But overall, not not many good memories of them. Not really any good memories of Totodile, so... I'm gonna just put him at C tier, because I've used Feraligator. Snivy. Snivy. Um... All, I have all the Gem 5 stars. Not my favorite at all. I do not like that thing at all. It's not my favorite. Oshawa. I really do like Oshawa. But is he better than Sobble, Bulbasaur, and Mark, Mudkip, and Froakie? Not really. Not so much. So I'm gonna put him at least uh, C tier. Rowlet. Screw this thing. I hate Rowlet so much. I hate Rowlet so much. I hate it so much. People were hyping this thing through like thing, thinking this thing was gonna be godlike, but no, this thing is actually trash. The design looks awful. Dark Tricks, Dark Tricks looks Evo, Evo as hell. And Decidueye was supposed to be good. He looks cool, don't get me wrong, but overall, I just don't like this star line. The star line is, to me, it's just trash. Trico. D tier, not really like. Trico's just like he's kind of anime, like not like, not out there, but he's kind of like just plain to be. That's, that's all it is. Poplio, that's a definite S tier. That is a definite S tier. I love Poplio so much. Oh my god, dog! I love it so much. Poplio, Brion, Primarina, Primarina was, was amazing in its origin too. Just being based on a mermaid and a siren together. Ah, uh, that is perfect. The Z-Move looks beautiful and is the, well, probably one of the most longest Z-Moves I've ever seen in my life. It's, my god, that thing takes like 20 minutes for the, for the entire thing to just be finished with. So that, uh, for all that, plus it's better at it all, better at all starters that I'm about to talk about. I'm about to talk about the last one, which is Linton. And to be honest, not really a big fan of Linton. Yeah, everybody likes this thing, but to me... It's not a big fan. Just not a big fan of wrestling in general, so that's probably why I just didn't get a wrestling vibe from it. Charmander. Um, same with Litten. I just, just don't really care about Charmander and all that. Torchic. Um, I don't know. See, I don't. I never used. Well, actually, no. I did use Torchic in the in my when I played X and Y. Well, when I played yeah, when I played Y. I had a Torchic because they were giving out, giving away an event Torchic with a Mega Blaziken, and I ran house with that thing. So I can give Blaziken some props, but is it my favorite starter at all? No, not really. So I'm gonna put him at B tier, just because I used that thing. Chikorita. Now, to be honest, everybody does not like Chikorita, and I can see why. It's plain, it's boring, Meganium literally holds the entire thing down. It's terrible to use in game it's terrible to use competitively and is the hardest ones to use in gen 2 yeah i know about all of this but do i hate it as much as everybody else not really he's like down the middle turtwig mmm turtwig turtwig i love turtwig turtwig looks cool i love i mean uh, he looks cute um grottle grottle's grottle's all right Torterra, he looks dope, but he's very hard to use in Gen 4. I played with, like, I played with him a little bit, but not, like, super a lot. So, I'm gonna give him, like, I'm gonna give him the A tier, because he was pretty, 
Torterra was pretty good on my team. Like, okay, so here's a story about me starting Pokemon. I started at Stitch Gym, but when I um, heard about more of the other generations, that's when I bought the other games and started playing them. So, yeah, just to let you guys know. Chespin. <sighs> Chespin's kind of anime. He's kind of eh. I know, I know about everything and stuff, but he's just kind of eh. Finnegan. Oh, Finnegan. Let's, let's talk about this one. Let's talk about a starter that literally is like the second worst starter that everybody in this world hates. I know there are a lot of people who love Delphox and Finnegan this entire line. But my god, Delphox. Delphox holds the whole entire thing down. Brakeson is, to be honest, a lot better than Delphox. And that says a lot because I actually have a competitive Brakeson and a competitive Delphox, but I use Brakeson a lot more because he like. Plus, Brakeson can do a lot better than Delphox. So, just for Brakeson helping out the team, holding it up, um, C tier. Chimchar. Um, no, 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 I just, uh, I don't know, there's some, there's something just about Chimchar that just, I don't know, it's just kind of plain to me, but, Chimchar, if I had to decide, he's just, F tier, I don't know, I just, I just have no, I literally have no love for this Pokemon, I just don't think about this Pokemon at all, so, so, there you guys have it. Boom. There's my tier list of all the starters. Froggy, Populo, and S tier. A tier, Sobble, Wobblesaur, Mudkip, and Turtwig. B tier, Squirtle, Torchic. C tier, Tepig. To Totodile, Oshawa, Chikorita, and Fennekin. D tier, Grokey. Grokey, Cyndaquil, Piplup. Yeah, Piplup. Trico, Litten, Charmander, and Chespin. And then F tier is Score Bunny, Stivy, Rowlet, and Chimchar. So if you guys enjoyed this tier list, you want to see another one, hit that like button down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.